Hello again, this is Ryan with BetterTattooing.com. Today we're going to be talking about how stencil stuff works. <laughs> Alright, now that that's over, how do my stencil applicators work? So stencil applicators can be anything. It's just, to break it down very simply, a stencil applicator is going to be something that, uh, that puts a stencil into the skin. So you can trace and do all your tattoo stuff. How do they work on average? So most of us will use uh, Thermofax paper, right? Which is gonna be a triple copy stuff. You'll be yellow paper, and then a carbon paper that sits on top of it. And then your transfer sheet, which is gonna be another piece of paper that's like super thin and flexible. It twists, and it moves, and it's super happy, yay. Um, by applying pressure or heat, you can transfer one thing that's usually stuck in between this onto this piece of paper. And uh, in doing that, it will attach this like purple stuff on the back. This dye is wax encapsulated stuff on average. It's it's dirty. I mean, anyone who's been in tattooing for more than like three days knows that if you get this purple stuff on your hands, it's just nasty. It'll damage everything. You'll look like an Oompa Loompa for most of the day after this. I guess what is that that girl who turned into the blueberry? Anyways, so when you get this stuff and you have your stencil right that's like set on to let's do the butt skull. I always love these. If you do this and you cut it out with a pair of scissors, right? And you're trying to put this onto the skin. Like, how does this go from here onto your happy client's face? If that's what they want, right? So the idea is that we need a few a few things inside of a stencil applicator, right? One, we need something that's going to be a base, right? We'll do, let's do this. My hand's moving faster my brain today. We need a base. Or it to be like a carrier, right? We need an alcohol or an acid, and we need a humectant. Okay, so what are these? The base carrier is just going to be anything. It can just be like water. That's fine. It's going to be something that's just going to dilute the solution enough so you're not using like pure concentrated alcohol and humectant on someone's body. It's fine. At the same time, these bases usually will supply the humectant, right? They work synergistically with some type of fluid, liquid, something that the humectant can utilize to pull things into the skin. So what's a humectant? A humectant, you think of like a humidor if like cigars or anything like this, it removes moisture from the air. So if we use a humectant on the skin, what it's doing is pulling moisture from the air and it pulls it into the skin, right? So uh, more often than not, it's just like propylene glycol that is most commonly what people will use with this stuff. Um, it's cheap. It's relatively, I think it's like completely safe question mark scientifically it's like nothing is completely safe but i mean like holy cow this thing has been used on you know maybe a billion people uh or more who knows uh i'm pulling those numbers out of my butt but it, it's pretty fucking safe um and then we need an alcohol or an acid to break down the actual encapsulation stuff that's on this purple stuff that's here so process goes we clean the skin try to desiccate it a little bit normally we'll use an alcohol right so we'll use alcohol uh 70 usp to like clean the skin Right, we'll clean it, make sure there's no microbes, other stuff that's in there, it's just gonna be nasty. It dries out a little bit, actually shrinking the skin, which is super fun. It ends up getting a little bit smaller. And then we'll put our stencil applicator on here. What this does is desiccated skin ends up creating a moisture layer that's on top of it, which will slowly start to plump up the skin by pulling some of the base that is applied on top through the humectant, which is gonna be absorbed into the skin. The alcohol and acid that's in there is going to break down the wax encapsulation on this purple that's there and make it readily available to the body so that as it's expanding, much like if you put like a sponge, you know, like if you just like take a sponge, right? You have a sponge, sponge. This is evidently a sponge for me. If you have a sponge and you just like put it in like some water, right? If you put it in water, it ends up growing, right? So same thing happens with this. We desiccate the skin a little bit with the alcohol that's on there. And as it's being absorbed into it, this wax encapsulated purple stuff, is going to be broken down by the acid, readily available on here, wherever that design lines are. And as the humectant is working by pulling some of that base moisturizer on top of it into the skin, it also takes the purple with it. And that's what puts it into the skin. So, simple. How do they work? Chemistry. Fantastic. This has been Ryan from BetterTattooing.com. Signing off. Have a great day.